Hello, hello, this is Copkit, and this is Bad at Redstone, where we share new innovations in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I have two things to share with you today. I have two different minecart unloaders. So this first design is very simple. Uh, this is actually modified off of a uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition um, design from Squirrel Lord. Let me show it to you here. Um, so the basic idea here with Pocket Edition is that you, I'm um, sorry, with Bedrock Edition, is you want to have this rail turn off before the cart gets there. Uh, the system's not consistent enough to turn the rail off every time uh, after it starts unloading items. So here just as an example, you know, 16 items. So the idea here is that this will uh, go up to the top of the hopper and will stay there until it is finished unloading those items. Okay, let me just show this work. You can see it sits up there very nicely. The detector rail turns off this torch ahead of time, and it will stay off until the items unload, at which point it will turn back on. Okay, so very simple, very nice. I have this hooked up to a uh, Il Mango style pumpkin and melon farm right now, and it's working uh, very well. Um, let's see, I have something else for you though, a slightly more complicated. This is a one wide tileable minecart unloader for Bedrock Edition. You may want to hook this up to a particularly large farm for which one minecart would be insufficient. Um, this design uh, was a little tricky to achieve, one that was consistent. Uh, let me show you how this works here. So in principle, what's happening is the same. The detector rail will activate the piston, which will lower this furnace, uh, which has an item in it. This is the cheapest way of getting a comparator signal in Bedrock. Um, detected by the comparator, turn off the torch. Uh, which will then, once the cart starts unloading items, that will be picked up by the comparator, which will keep the torch off until it is completely unloaded. Um, let me show you this working. Okay, you can see it works very nicely. Um, now, the reason a tileable design is particularly difficult in bedrock oh, hold on, is this behavior. Minecarts do not like to sit side by side. Uh, they will nudge each other, they will bump each other. You can see even though this rail is off, um, the hitbox of this minecart is causing enough of a problem that this one just will not sit by it. So to tile this design, what you actually need to do is you need to offset it by one block. You can see here, um, this is the same design tiled uh, with a one block offset. Um, here I'm using redstone blocks instead of furnaces. It's just a little bit easier to set up, but in principle it's exactly the same. So this is not completely reliable. It is pretty reliable, but it's not perfect. Okay. So let me turn this on and we can see what it does. So you can see here that the minecarts do like to nudge each other just a little bit. And what happens is yeah, you can see that behavior right there. That cart was not done unloading, um, but because we have this dual hopper set up here, it is actually still being unloaded and will now launch off once it's completely empty. So let's just see. I feel like this one, do we have any problem minecarts? No, it looks like we get, well, let me not speak too soon. Uh, looks like it worked perfectly, which is nice. Um, just so you can see down here, what we have is I have a set of chests. You can see where underneath this you could set up a hopper line to then join your streams to an item sorter. But each of our different block setups were fully unloaded by the cart. Um, problems with this design, you can see that... Hold on, if I go down here for a second. You can see that the adjacent torches... Yeah, this is powering this block. So currently, these adjacent hoppers are locked. <clears throat> so that's not perfect. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it seems to work pretty predictably. So I'm not going to do block by block tutorials for these designs unless somebody asks for them uh, in the comments. I think that the designs are pretty self explanatory as you look at them here. Um, I do have this repeater set to a three tick delay that seemed to give the most consistent results. Um, but if you're not looking for anything complicated, this design from Squirrel Lord is fantastic, and I will copy that in the notes below. Alright, and with that, that's all I have for you today. 
thanks very much. Signing off.